What do you do when you get a check engine light? Well, if you're like most people, you take a trip to the dealer or an independent shop. Same thing when you get one of those troublesome airbag warnings. Well, that can become unnecessarily expensive over a period of time. Peak Research offers tools for BMW and Mini owners. They help you in a number of ways. You can use an SRS tool to reset your airbag code that goes off because of a faulty sensor in the passenger seat. You can use the FCX tool to reset your dash light after an oil change or an inspection. You can also get clues about what triggered a check engine light to come on or check for other codes that are uh, there even if your check engine light is not coming on. Here's why it's better to use a peak reader than a standard OBD reader that you would get at a parts store. The standard OBD readers are only covering the codes that are mandated by the government relating to emissions. The peak reader, on the other hand, goes a lot deeper into codes that aren't covered by the other readers. Depending on the age of your car, you'll have either one kind of connection or another. Uh, we've got a resource for you either flashing up on the screen or in the description that will guide you as to which model of peak tool you need to get the correct, correct connection for your car. One type of connection is under the dash. The FCX316 is the tool you want here for the later model cars. The other type of connection is found somewhere under the hood of earlier model cars. It takes the FCX3. Some cars actually have both types of connection. The universal connector helps you out when you have multiple BMWs with differing connections. The peak code readers come with an instruction booklet that has tables for telling you what the various codes mean. Here's a basic orientation for the FCX code reader. It's important to follow this order. Turn the ignition key as far as it will go without turning the motor on, then plug in the tool. The select button runs you through the menu. First up is the FC menu where you read the codes. CE is where you clear codes. Then there's the oil service light, the inspection reset. Then there are some other sections of the menu that aren't relevant unless you have a V12 in your BMW. To reset the oil light, simply use the select button to scroll to that part of the menu. That's the OL. And then you hit the go button to execute. After that's executed, you'll notice that your dash lights will have changed next time you start your car. The same holds true for inspection one and two. The next time you turn on the ignition, all the oil indicator lights will light up on your dash. Well, as you can see, with a little bit of know-how and a few simple tools, you can go a long way. Whether you do it yourself to have fun or save money or both, Auto Works of America has the parts you need for your German car to get the work done. Find us online at autoworksofamerica.com.